Yeah. All right. So, uh, thought to summer 2011, question nine. The diagram shows part of the curve y is cos to x. Right. State. Okay. Well, hang on. Point A is the minimum point of this part of the curve. They they haven't told us how much we've got here, have they? There's, there's no. Um, scale on the x-axis, there's no, um, we call it the main bit where they tell us which bit of x is defined for. Right, um, we've got the, a full run through the curve. State the period of y is plus 2x. Well, this is going back to our transformations and graph stuff. If we, if we add cos 2x, what's, What's happened to cos x to go to cos 2x? How would you describe that transformation? A stretch scale factor of 1 over 2. So that is a stretch scale factor of half. Everything has squashed in that way. So instead of going from 0 up to 360 or 0 to 2 pi, if everything is squashed in, we must have this point here as being 0, this point is pi instead of 2 pi, and this point here must be pi by 2, halfway along. So the period of cos 2x, the answer to part 1, is pi radians, or 180 degrees, but we, we're working x's in radians, so we need to give our answer in radians. And actually in doing that, in deciding that that was pi, we've already got our answer to the next bit or half of our answer because the x value at a that's halfway along that that one run through what the graph looks like so the x value of a is pi by 2 and the y value is pi oh, right, up and down because that's right. what cos does that they were trying to trick you in this a little bit because uh, Having the two in there, I, I bet some of the answers for this got confused and thought this was 2 cos x. Because the graph 2 cos x would go up to plus 2 and down to minus 2, and the period would be 2 pi. It would look exactly the same other than that. It would just be the scales that were different. So that's, that's that first bit. Solve the inequality cos 2x is less than a half for x in the range 0 to pi. Look, there's a big clue here, isn't there? They've just kind of given away the answer to the first bit. There they say for x between naught and pi, there it is, it's naught up to pi, that's that first answer. Um, solve the inequality cos 2x is less than a half. Well, to do that, we need to know when is cos 2x. If cos 2x is equal to a half, we need to work out those x values and then we can try and solve the inequality. Well, uh, we know how we do this because 2x is equal to half. You might know this already. It might be one of the values that you're aware what what that is. Um, if cos 2x is a half, that would be 60 degrees, but we need to work in radians, don't we? So 60 would be pi by 6. But you know, if you've got uh, the, the, one of these calculators or, or one of the um, ES or GT Plus calculators, it will give you this answer as pi by 6. If you change your calculator, uh, pi by 3, sorry, yeah, yeah. 60 would be pi by 3. Did I say pi by 6? Mm -hmm. Oh, red. <laughs> oh, I'm very sorry. And, uh, I can't work any of the calculator either. So I can the FX9 and one here is plus? It's a top flagship model. It is, it's a great model. Yeah, it's a if model. you change your calculator to radians mode and do inverse cos of um, a half, then your calculator says one third of pi on the screen. So you've got that straight away. Right. Um, we need to know the other value that that would take. You can do it from the graph. We've got the graph to work on the symmetry. If you wanted to use the, uh, the cat diagram for this, We've, we've just done cos of a positive value. So that's going to be in the A and the C quadrants. We've, uh, we've said the value was pi by 3. So there it is. There are the values of pi by 3. It's pi. Remember, we're looking for 2x. So although x is between 0 and 180, 0 and pi, 
two axes between 0 and 2 pi. So we count okay. these round. That would be the other value that we look for, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pi by 3. So our other value is 5 pi by 3. The final thing we have to do is to divide by the 2. So x is pi over 6 and 5 pi by 6 at the end of that. And, and that's great. All that's done is found the values. We wanted to know when when the positive x was less than or equal to a half. Why did you divide it pi by 6? If you do um, 5 pi by 3 divided by 2, oh, okay. that's 5 pi over 2 times 3. So 5 pi by 6. Now what we've done there is, is on our graph that we're still working on here, we have um, we've looked at that line there, which is the line when x is a half, and we've identified that this point here is at pi by six. This point here, I'll move it in a minute, is at five pi by six. There they are. And, uh, and we wanted to know when the graph was less than those values, when it looks to me like it's between those two values, isn't it? Either side of them it's above the line, between them it's below the half line. That's what we want. Oh, yes, what's so we're saying x is bigger than pi by 6. And less than or equal to 5 pi by 6. And that solves our inequality. There are various other ways you could have thought about that, but that's quite a nice way of doing it. Yeah, back up to the ground. So that's that's what we've ended up with. That's the next thing. I don't. Do you ever look at where you got the power by three from? The calculator. The, uh, it's same um, sixteen. Okay. Um, when, if we have any, if we're stuck on, on getting those answers, then we'll talk about that in a moment. Let's go on to part B. Um, cos 2x no. is root 3 <laughs> sine 2x for x between 0 and pi, giving your answers exactly. So we've now got an equation to solve. Done. Go on, take over. Go for it. Okay, now listen, when you, when you come to solve these equations, if it's not a straightforward sine of something equals a value equation, then there are only two possibilities, there are only two things that could happen. We could either have one where we've got squared terms in there, and that's going to be using one of these two identities. I'm, I'm getting it all in terms of one of the things. So getting it as a quadratic in sine squared or cos squared. Or, as we've got in this case, if you've got sine something equals cos of something, or some relation to that, it's got to be the other identity. Our first step here is going to be to divide by the bottom of the tan is sine over cos identity. So we're going to divide both sides by cos 2x and see what happens. That will give us 1 over here is root 3 sine 2x over cos 2x. And so we've got 1 equals root 3 tan 2x out of that. And that's, that's what we needed to do to get it in terms of just one of the identities. So tan 2x, we're saying, is 1 over root 3. Now we have, I think almost everybody has this advantage of a calculator that if you put it into radians mode and you do inverse tan of that, it's going to give you an exact answer. And putting it into radians mode is dead easy, that would be shift and um, set up, shift and mode and choose, is option 3 for radians? 4. Okay, option 4 for radians and then inverse tan of 1 over root 3 and your calculator says that 2x root 3 over 3 is I don't want decimal no, no it's, um, you're doing inverse tan of it 
Inverse 10. Oh, no. Oh, no. Three, three, like that. And there you go, and it says 5 by 6. Okay. The, calc the, the question did say give an exact value, so it had to be in terms of pi. We're nearly done. Um, whenever, whenever you're using the cast diagram, if you're using the cast diagram, as soon as your calculator gives you an answer, you have to go straight to the cast diagram with it. So as soon as we get pi by six on the calculator screen, straight to the cast diagram, it was uh, tan, and it was positive. So they are the two values, and if we count them off, we remember x is between 0 and pi, so 2x is between 0 and 2 pi, we're going all the way around, and if we count those off, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pi by 6 as the other value, and now we divide by 2, pi over 12. Seven pi by twelve. They're the two answers. Yes, you could. You would still get the same credit for it. All right. Thanks, Dan.